Hi, I'm Victor from Divimundo.com. Welcome to the complete guide on how to copy and paste content with Divi. And even if you are an experienced Divi designer, I'm pretty sure that there are a few tricks here that you didn't know about earlier. So please let me know in the comments below which numbers that are new to you. So let's get started. Number one. Click the duplicate icon. So when you hover a section or a row or a module in Divi, you will see a little toolbar in top of the element. And the third icon from the left is two squares overlapping each other. And that's the duplicate icon. So if I click this one once and twice, I have two copies below. And now I can just drag this one to another column and this one to another column. And now I can just change the text and color and images. And this is a great time saver. Number two, the keyboard shortcut. So if I hover an element like this row, for example, I can just hit Command C on my Mac or Control C on my PC. Then I can paste this one anywhere on the page by just clicking Control V on a PC or Command V on my Mac like this. And there we have it. As a bonus, you can actually use Command X or Control X to cut out an element. So if I do it on this module, for example, you can see that it's now disappearing. And if I now paste it here by Control V or Command V, the module is pasted. Number three, right click the toolbar. I am hovering the element that I want to copy. And now I just right click this little toolbar and then I have a menu. So now I can just click copy module. And now I can scroll down. I can right click anywhere in this place and paste the module. There we go. Number four, click the three dots. If I hover this section, you can see that in the toolbar, there is three dots in the right corner. If I click them, I will get the same menu as if I would right click the toolbar. So now I can click copy section and to paste it, I can just hover another section and click the three dots and then click paste section. And now the section is pasted below. Number five, drag and drop. So this is probably a new one for most DV users. If I hold the option key on Mac or the alt key on PC and drag and drop an object, it will actually duplicate. So for example, I'm holding my option key on my Mac and I grab this text module and I'm dragging it and dropping it. And now you can see that we have a duplicate. Number six. Copy and paste multiple elements. So if I hold the command key on my Mac or the control key on PC and click different elements like this module, this module and this module, I have multi-selected them. Now I can just use one of the earlier methods like command C or right click or clicking the dots to copy it. And now I can paste them below this one. There we go. Number seven, copy and paste all modules in the same column. So this is similar to the one before, but now I hold the shift key on my keyboard and I click the first module. Now I scroll down to the last one and I hold the shift key and I click again. And now you can see that I marked all the modules in this range. Now I can just right click and choose copy modules. And now I can right click this one, paste the modules below. Let's zoom out so you can see that now we have an impressive row. Number eight, save to and import layouts from the Divi library. So now we are leaving the on page copy and pasting and we are going to use some powerful features in Divi to copy and paste full web design layouts to just single objects between pages. First off, I want to save this section to the Divi library. 
So I'll hover it and I click the down icon saying save section to library. And I will name it hero area and I will save it to the library. Now I can exit this page and I'll go to the home page. And here I will activate the visual builder. Now I can just click the plus icon to add a new section. And from here I'll choose add from library. And now I can see my saved layout, the hero area. So I will click it to import it. And there we have it. So this is an extremely powerful way to save layouts, rows, sections, modules to the library and reuse them between different pages. Number nine, duplicate a page or a post layout. So let's say that I want to create a new page and I want to use an existing design from another page or post. So I'll start by adding a new page and I'll use the DB Builder. From here, I can click clone existing page. And now I have a list of my existing pages. I can also search and I can filter from pages, posts, custom post types or, or different theme builder templates. But I want to duplicate the contact us page. So I'll click that one. And there we go. I have duplicated my contact page. Now I can just do my changes and save. Number 10, export and import JSON layouts between websites. So all the copying and pasting we've done now has been on the same website. You can use them to copy and paste content between pages on your website and even in pages in a multi-site network. But if I would like to take this page layout and import it to a completely new WordPress installation, there's a method for that too. So I'll start by opening the DB Builder menu in the bottom. I will click the uh, portability icon to the right. And now I can choose to export this layout. So, and I click the export DB Builder layout button. And now I could go to a completely different website and I will enable the Visual Builder. I could just open the DB Builder menu, click the portability icon and choose import. And now I can drag this one and drop it. Now read these options carefully. Do you want to replace the existence, existing content on this page? You could download a backup of this layout before you import the new one. And you can choose if you want to import any DV design presets made in the first layout. But I'll just click replace existing content in this example and I'll import the DV builder layout. And there we have it. I've imported my old design to my new website. That was 10 ways to copy and paste content with Divi. Let me know which ones were new to you by adding a comment below the video. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.